Hi friends, this video will explain this tester, which integrates the functions of an oscilloscope, signal generator, and electronic component tester. It is suitable for testing most components in ASIC minor repair. Let's start with its main interfaces and functions. This is the display screen. Here are the function buttons. The red button is for power on and return. Press and hold for 3 seconds to turn on the tester. The black button is the OK and menu. Press and hold for 3 seconds to enter language settings. Here's the component testing area. These three areas can test components such as capacitors, inductors, resistors, and MOS tubes. Their testing and usage methods are the same. The KAA is mainly used to test voltage-resistant diodes. The K on the first pin on the left represents the positive pole. The two as on the second and third pins represent the negative pole. The lever here is used to loosen or lock the pins of components during testing. Type-C interface, powering the tester. It also has a stand for easy viewing of test data. This is the powering cable. The test hooks are used when the component pins cannot be inserted into the test holes. Now, let's press and hold the red button to turn it on. Then press and hold the menu button to enter language settings. We can see the second option is to switch languages. The M tester on the screen is used for testing transistors. Moving to the right, there are oscilloscope test, signal transmitter test, and tools. Next, I will demonstrate how to measure components. These two are electrolytic capacitors. These are two safety capacitors. The blue one is a Y capacitor, and the red one is an X capacitor. When measuring, we need to use a discharge pen to discharge the capacitors. Since we are using brand new components today, we can test them directly. For this type of electrolytic capacitor, we can choose three hole positions. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 3. Its two pins need to be inserted into different numbered holes. For example, for the 1, 2, 3, 3 holes, we can choose to insert them into 1, 2, 1, 3, or 2, 3. But if choose 3, 3, we won't be able to test its correct capacity. Here. We choose 1 3 and lock it in. Then select the M tester. Press the OK button and press again. We can see that the screen displays the capacitor's capacity and other information. Now, let me demonstrate an error test. Select 2 2 and press OK. We can see that it's not possible to measure the capacity this way. Next is the X capacitor. Select 1, 2 to insert. Alright. Its related info has been detected. Continuing to test the Y capacitor. We can select these two hole positions. It similarly shows its capacity and related information. Now I'm going to show you how to measure this larger electrolytic capacitor, which has a withstand voltage of 450 volts, and a capacity of 470 microfarads. At this point, we need to use the test hooks. Choose any two cables, and choose 1-2 test hole. Lock it in, and then use the test hooks to connect to the two pins of the capacitor. Press the OK button. The measurement result is in, its capacity is around 460 microfarads, which is close to the labeled 470 microfarads, indicating our measurement method is correct. 
Next, let's measure an inductor. Since its pins are too large, we will use the test hooks again. The screen also displays the related data for the inductor. These are plug-in components. We can use the tester to identify whether it is a MOS tube or a dual diode. It can be inserted from either the front or the back. According to the measurement results, it shows that it's an N-channel MOS tube and provides its pin definition diagram. Inserting it in this area can also get related information. If inserted like this, corresponding to 2, 3. The measurement result will be incorrect. Finally, let's measure this larger transistor. As it cannot be inserted into the test holes, we'll also need to use the test hooks. Connect the MOS tube pins in order. The connection method is the same for the opposite side. After measurement, this transistor is confirmed to be an N-channel MOS tube as well. Alright, that's the specific usage method for this tester. Thanks for watching.